Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to go to the refrigerator and make a hummus wrap for me. Yep, a hummus wrap. And then you can come back and give me that good energy and feed me. <laughs> you can do that. Click that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slip it down the holy water. Yeah, I've been trying to get my bushes trimmed since Saturday. And my bush guy, uh, one day he showed up with no gear. And I was like, oh, God. And then, oh, God, Pisces. And then it's like in the rain. I'm like, oh, I'm never going to get my bushes trimmed. I just said last night, I go, I just give up. I'm just going to let the yard grow. It's going to be a permaculture garden. And I just am over it. I'm just over it. I'm over everything. I am. I just, I quit. <laughs> so. You know what time it is, baby. Time to eat that hummus wrap. Pet your kitty. Pet your doggy. Pet your lizard, for all I know. Because Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. Dog presiding. You can do whatever you want. Whatever your little, cute, happy heart desires. I want you to do that for me, Pisces. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And then we're going to quit it like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Bailiff, he's so cute. He is passed out. He is. I rubbed his feet for him. He likes some uh, foot massages. I rub his little paws for him, his little toe beans. They're just so cute and pink. I can't help it. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. People are going to be like, that is weird. I don't care. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. I don't know. We'll go top to bottom, please. Thank you. Show me the energy of the person, my... Show me. Let's go. Show me that energy. I don't know. Let's go top to bottom. That's acting weird. It's acting real weird on me today. Show me the energy of the person my view. Okay, right on Donkey Kong. Okay. We've got the good old the hangman down here on the table. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the Three of Wands, the overall energy for the reading. Ten Swords. So something here has ended in this person's life. Okay. So something here, they've come to some kind of realization here. Um, it's about moving forward, taking action here. Somebody may be reaching out to you, extending an olive branch. It could be a passionate new beginning. Um, and it looks like they've gained some kind of clarity here, or they have been gaining some kind of clarity. And you got, uh, looks like what to be a romantic love offer on the table today. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to talk to the hangman first. Why is the hangman here in this person's energy? And then we'll, we'll, go, we'll get into this a little more. Why is the hangman here? Okay, the hangman. Sure. Ah! If this isn't communication times three, somebody really, really wants to talk to you Somebody really wants to see you here. Somebody is getting ready to deliver a surprising, surprising text message or phone call or an email or fax. <laughs> oh, the card, there's no fax machines anymore. That's not true. Dolly Parton still uses a fax machine, okay? Check your fax, judge. Okay, so somebody realizes they're like, okay, I'm going to reach out to Pisces. We're going to have victory here. 
Okay? Pisces is going to be really happy when I reach out to Pisces here. Or I'm going to be, they're going to be really happy. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups. They either want to talk to you or see you. Okay. So why have they had this sudden epiphany that they really need to talk to Pisces? Why have they had this sudden epiphany that they really need to talk to Pisces? Okay. Because either you or them or both of y'all have been avoiding each other. Okay. So what's this avoidance energy here? What's this avoidance energy here? What's the avoidance energy here, please? Avoidance. What's the avoidance here? Somebody's been avoiding. Yep, the lovers. Making a decision. Making a choice here. So somebody here does not want to avoid this anymore. That literally, it's screaming to me on the table. You got somebody here that's just not wanting to avoid this anymore. It's like, let's get together. Let's see each other. Let's not avoid this anymore. I like it. I like it. So I don't know why you guys have been avoiding each other, but you're going to know. Okay. So we're going to talk to the three of wands. This is about realization. It's also about moving forward here. What's going on with the three of wands? What's going on with the three of wands to the five of wands? Moving forward, this person is moving forward past their conflicted feelings, past their conflicted emotions, and they're going after what it is their nine cups represents to them. So let's get a little deeper on those nine cups. Nine cups, a little deeper on those nine cups. Okay. Their intuition is, this is all about their intuition. Listening to my, I want to listen to my intuition. I'm deciding to, to move past my problems, move past the conflict, listen to my in, intuition here, and to go after what it is that I want. Okay? It's just that kind of energy. I like the energy. That's good. It's real good. It's moving fast, that's for sure. So this is going to be happening real fast here. When I read the energies fast, that means it's going to be quick. And it's not going to be for every single one of you out there. I'm, I can't predict time. No, I cannot. I am not the troll under the bridge of the that keeps the gates of time here. That is not. You're all moving at different frequencies. Everybody's moving at different frequencies here at the end of the day. Because like I always say, if I could predict that for every single one of you, and I doubt you're all dealing with Steve up the street, okay? But if I could predict that for each and every single one of you, NASA would have done kidnap me, like I always say. They would have dropped me in a bunker in the middle of the desert, and I would be studying aliens, and I am not doing that. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, the car for the 18th time, you're too stupid for NASA. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. She just called me stupid. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? What's going on with the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups energy, please. Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. Let's go. Come on. Top to bottom. It's acting weird. Let's go, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Somebody's got a lot of passion here. A lot of determination here. Let's go, Knight of Cups with the strength. Knight of Cups with the strength, please. Knight of Cups with the strength, please. Knight of Cups with the strength. Knight of Cups with the strength. Yep. And this here, somebody who comes after ten wands, it resets to one. The burden here, okay, of avoiding their emotions Looks like it's no longer an issue for this person. Because there's a lot of passion here for you. A lot of determination. This person... This person feels like you're very loyal, too. There's a lot of loyalty here. They have a sense of loyalty to you as well. Because you... Unlike anybody else... 
you have always been compassionate here. You just let this person just be who they are. And you didn't give them a lot of grief. You didn't cause a ruckus here in their life. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah. Holding emotions in sucks. I told my buddy the other day. Oh, I told you, his, the girl that he liked, I did a reading for. The girl that he liked, she's like, why are you pursuing me? And he was like, well, it was text. He was like, I really would like to talk to you tomorrow. Can I call you tomorrow? I'll text you and see if you're... Re so then anyway, we're in like three days later. She's like 67 too. 67 years old. 67 years old. And I know aged is just a number. And she just totally ghosted him. Totally ghosted him. He was going to tell her. I said, I said, well, how do you feel about her? He's like, well, I love her. I was like, well, then tell her you love her. And he's like, I will. And then, and I told him, I was like, you go in though, just because you tell somebody you love somebody, you go in with no expectation, okay? Otherwise, you're not, you don't set yourself up to get hurt. You just go in because you love somebody so much and you just want to tell them that. And guess what? She just straight up ghosted him. 67-year-old woman. Ghosted him. Can you believe that? Horrible. Mm -mm. And that's like his, his twin flame, too. It's like, oh, God. Ugh, Pisces. Ace of Wands. What's going on here? Top to bottom. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. What's going on here? Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands. What's going on here? Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Yeah. This is all about persistent communication. So whoever this is, you're going to be in persistent communication with this person. Because they can't avoid their feelings any longer. Those days, those days are over, man. Those days are long, long gone. I'm telling you what, people that avoid their emotions, even like my buddy, he was not the kind of guy. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And he got the cojones. And then she, what did she do? She tuckered out on him and just disappeared. And I said, well, you know, at least you know where you stand now. I said, so just take your power back. He's good to go, though. He's good to go. So, I love you, my beautiful Pisces. Tarot's adjourned.